What's up, guys? George Camel here. On May 21st and 22nd, Dave Ramsey and I are hosting a brand new virtual event called Investing Essentials. Because investing can make you wealthy if you do it the right way. And that's why we'll cover 401ks, mutual funds, and Dave's personal strategies for investing in real estate. You can even send in your questions while you watch from the comfort of your own home. So get your tickets today at RamseySolutions.com slash everyday investing. That's RamseySolutions.com slash everyday investing. This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. All right, Vanessa is going to start us off in Dallas, Texas. Vanessa, how can we help? Yes, my question is, uh, what should I invest my $100 a month in to be a millionaire by 65? Oh, great How old are you? Well, I am 27. I'll be 28 in September this year. So that was my other question. Should I backtrack? Because the post that Dave Ramsey had said was at 25. I mean, I know I'm just a little bit behind on that. Yeah, not far behind at all. What do you got for it, George? You love your investment oh, calculator. I've got my calculator you just out. just cracked like, your knuckles. <laughs> I'm pushing my glasses up. I'm ready to go, Vanessa. Tell her, George. Okay, so let's talk about your financial picture. Where You're saying $100 a month because that was the example Dave used. At yes, 25, sir. starting at, tw- at 25. Starting at 25 if you invest mm-hmm. 100 bucks a month. And so that post exists to tell people it's very much possible to become a millionaire, and it's simpler and easier than you think. It's just consistency plus time. It doesn't take a huge six-figure income. And so that's the point of the post. I just want to make that clear. We're not telling people you should invest only $100 a month. So mm-hmm. where, what's your financial status right now? Are you debt-free? Do you have an emergency fund? Um, so we are debt-free. My husband and I, we are debt-free. Um, we also have savings, but we don't. We are both self-employed, and so we don't have a retirement. And so that's kind of why I was like, well, you know, even if we did more than $100 a month, but the minimum $100 a month, we would have something in place if uh, we both weren't able to work at 65. Yeah. You know? What's your uh, household income? We've never income? really thought about a retirement. Um, it's about 50. Total household yeah, income? we don't make a whole Mm-hmm. I'm primarily a stay-at-home wife, and I bake cakes on the side, so my husband primarily brings in um, the money. Um, but we don't need a lot because our home is paid for and our vehicles are as well. Great. Wow. Um, what does he do? He kind of, yeah, he um, builds metal buildings and shops and barns like that. And he does work. it for himself? Him and a buddy. They do it together. Yes, sir. How long have they been doing it? Um, He's been doing it about... A year and a half, two years now. Is he? Do you ever hear him? Do you guys talk about what he thinks the possibilities are going forward? You know, year two, year three, year four. The fact that it's just two of them building metal buildings. Yeah, um, not really financially, like how far they can go with it, because he kind of just does it for for fun and to bring money in as well. But we really don't have like we don't live a luxurious life to where we need a whole lot of money. Sure. Um. I mean, you know, so I just, I'm just worried about like a retirement thing. Yeah, um, no, don't he be does worried. does have a, like a medical condition. So his thing is, is like last month he was out two weeks of work. Oh. Um, you know, so he does have to take off sometimes for procedures oh. or things that come up. So that was my other idea. You know, like what if he doesn't, if he's not able to work um, at a certain age or something happens to me, you know, do you have kids? What should we be investing our money in? We have a five-year-old and we, might have another one. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, well, I, George, George could speak to, and he, he kind of already has. But I, w- I would. The reason I'm asking that question is because, and now it's even more important knowing he's got this medical condition. And I love that you're able to be at home right now and bake cakes. In fact, if you want to send a cake to George and I, we'd be okay with that. Um, but, <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fantastic. George, George is gluten free. Do you make gluten free cakes? I absolutely do. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, now George can part <laughs> business. I am all for the gluten. Can we add extra gluten? I am pro gluten. <laughs> uh, but uh, the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is because Vanessa, if you feel like we want to catch up or we want to put more than two hundred dollars a month, meaning one hundred from him, one hundred from you, 
you do know that you've got the option to go work and you'd have to change your lifestyle some, but it seems like you guys have really uh, a really frugal lifestyle, which gives you options. And so right. I just don't want you to have this fear hanging over your head uh, because you guys can catch up and catch up quickly. Right, George? Yes. And so the first place I would go for you is a Roth IRA. And that's going to use okay. after-tax money. It's not connected to an employer. Anybody with earned income can contribute to that. And the maximum for 2024 is $7,000. And you can open one as well. So your husband can open one. You can open one. So that's 7000 each. Now, when it comes to the amount you should invest, we recommend 15% when you're in baby step four. Now, because you guys have a paid-for house, that puts you in baby step seven, which means you can invest even more than 15%. So I would not recommend investing 100 bucks in your shoes. You should be investing at least 7500 bucks a year. Okay. And so when you open that Roth IRA, and one of a, a SmartVestor Pro can help you with this, you can reach out to one at RamseySolutions.com and get connected. These are financial okay. advisors, investing pros who can help set these up, help you understand what you're actually doing. And this is an individual retirement arrangement. And all it is, it's a shell. Within that, you would then invest and buy mutual funds, which is just a basket of stocks, 90 to 200 companies that we're all rooting for to win and, you know, grow. And so that will help you create a, you know, 10 to 12 percent return is what we've been seeing in the market. And so I just did the calculation for you from 27 to 67. If you just put 100 bucks in there, you could end up with 860 grand at 11 percent return. Okay. How does that make you feel, Vanessa? Good. Yeah. Oh, so you good. take 7,500, yeah. for example, and the numbers change drastically when you start to get into those. Numbers. Oh, this is what I get excited. So 7,500 bucks, that's 625 a month, right? Mm -hmm. If you invest six twenty five a month from twenty seven to sixty seven, that would grow it to five point three million dollars. Wow! With an eleven percent return. If you scale it down to ten percent, three point nine. Vanessa, let's go more conservative. That's still two point nine. Vanessa, so wow. the key Are you is worried anymore. Get started. Do this every year. No, and don't <laughs> touch it. She's not worried anymore, George. And on top of that, Ken, I a think lot Vanessa of went. Huh. I yes. think Vanessa started yeah. going. <laughs> and Vanessa, guess how much of that was money you put in? Let's even say the nine percent it grows to two point nine million. How much money do you think you put in out of that two point nine million? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Three hundred thousand. That's all you put in. Two point wow. six million was just growth, just compound interest. And so, get started now. We have a lot of options yeah. for self-employed people. So whoever's listening, they're going. I can't invest in retirement. Yes, you can. We have a whole blog called Five Investing Options for Self-Employed People. Go check it out. The SEP IRA, the Simple IRA, Individual Solo 401k. Well, tons of options out there for entrepreneurs. Vanessa, go on YouTube uh, later this afternoon, this evening. Show this clip, this segment to your husband, and you guys have a fun dream session about what life is going to be like when you're in your 60s with all that money. Woo! Game on. Oh, George, you're so good. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about investing, visit RamseySolutions.com slash investing or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.